Hey guys, it's Jesus from Local Agency. I today I wanted to show you the new Glide Builder or Glide Editor. So this is a new layout which is pretty different to what we are used to, and this is based on other platforms or other apps as uh, Photoshop or some of these other uh, platforms, maybe even Figma. So we have this new layout. The first thing that we see is that we have all, the name of our app up here and then we have these three icons. The first icon that we see is the, the phone, right? And we can preview as an Android or an iPhone and then we can we have the preview as, uh, as we have added previously on the left screen. Then we have on the right our settings. When we click this, our settings come up here on the right and we already know how to use those. And then we have the data, right, in the, the, on the left, the left icon on the top bar, and then this opens our spreadsheet. And then you can see here on the left sidebar, we have all of these tabs in our spreadsheet. So I can even add a new Glide table or a link uh, my app to a Glide table so I can have different sources or have more sources uh, in my Glide app other than the Google Sheet that I'm using right now. So if I go back to the to the phone here, uh, what I see on the left are our screens, right? So in this case, I have what previously we called our tabs. So right now we have screens, we have these three screens and then we have these other two screens that are hidden. So the we have an eye with a cross, so that's why these are not showing up. If I click this eye, then the chat is no longer grayed out and I have access to the chat here. So it's as easy as just clicking this button. Now, coming back here, let's look at our profiles or sessions. So I'm on a list view. I have the same information here on our uh, right, um, layout, features, and in this case, users can add new items. I have a type icon here, so I can quickly change the type icon that I want. We have styles as usual, the data as usual, options, and the text style. So uh, let's look at the details. So I'm going to move this over here, and then I'll go back. So right now we have our screens on the left sidebar and when I click on an item you see the components on the left side. Previously we had them on the right side. So these are our components. I can add components from here and then this is how this screen behaves like the layout and allow users to edit. And Then we have all our components here on the left. So I can add new components the same way we added previously, but now uh, this column comes up when I click the plus sign. I can always search for the component that I want or I can uh, use the uh, slider to find what I'm looking for. So let's say I wanna add an image column. So the image is here and then since the image component is selected here, that's what I see here on the right. Okay, so I can point the image that I chose here on my left on my right to the image column that I have here, the photo, right? Then I can configure it any way I want. So uh, this might take a while for you to get used to it uh, because you have to be jumping between your left and your right uh, sidebars, but ideally we will get used to it pretty fast. So components on the left, the configuration of those components on the right. We have our side menu here, so these are like what we call our hamburger menu or home on sales and about. Uh, so that's all for today. Follow or subscribe to the jesusvargas.glideapp.io app and then you can get all of my uh, new videos that are coming up every week. Have a great day.